the end of 99, my husband and I went on a vacation to Cancun for our 10th anniversary. Grandma kept the little kids, so it was awesome, the first time we got away like that. While we were there, I started having breathing problems. I called my primary care, and in the meantime, I called my OBGYN and said, hey, these lumps in my breasts are getting larger. They were alarmed and had me come in, it was like the next day. Just within a couple weeks, I was diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer. And I came home to my babies. I had a six-year-old, a three-year-old, and a two-year-old, and there was, there was no question I was gonna be here every day that I could. She had a uh, local, regionally advanced breast cancer that had spread to lung cavity, or that she had pleural metastases. I told her this is basically non-curable disease. Dr. Chidiak had said, let's, let's try for two years, and try for two years and hope for five years. When I was at five years, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm still here. He credits Herceptin to what has gotten me this far. I continued to work through my treatment. I had just taken time off for surgery. Every time Chris calls, I smile, you know, because it's a pride, you know, that, you know, you have such a special patient that has done really well. We put her on Herceptin with chemotherapy, and then chemotherapy was phased out, and she continued with uh, her septum for a number of years without evidence of any, uh, any disease. Komen has been involved, and they've funded every major research and treatment for breast cancer. I feel like they're a big part of why I'm still here. Going to Race for the Cure, it made me feel like I'm not here by myself. I'm not alone. There were so many people down there in their pink hats and pink shirts. I know now, because of Komen, that I'm not the only young person diagnosed with breast cancer. My family has always gone and supported me every year. I'm a team captain through work and work at getting participants to go and fundraising. I feel like I'm giving back for everything that Komen has done for me. My mom's one of the toughest people I know, strongest. She never gives up on anything. She works long hours and uh, doesn't ever complain about anything, really. And uh, it's amazing that she does that. She never stops, never gives up. My uh, friends and family were awesome. Even my son had um, shaved his head when my hair fell out. My husband was awesome. Um, he dealt with the kids totally. Um, my husband had started having some breathing problems. We found out that he had um, tonsil cancer. He was home for a few days recovering from surgery and threw a blood clot, another blood clot that went to his lungs. He died within a few minutes. My husband had been a huge support through everything. We didn't expect my dad not to be here. We expected her not to be here. So um, it's kind of a, you know, it's a good thing that she's still here with us. Otherwise, we'd be alone, so. I'm here with my three kids. I have to be here as long as I can for them. It's even much more so important to keep the funding coming, to keep the research going, to find those treatments, and hopefully that one of those treatments will end up in a cure someday.